Hi, so today I wanted to answer one of the questions concerning why I move my office around so often, which also ties into another question that I've been getting regularly, which is, do you have a Patreon? Is there a way I can donate to you because of the content that you put up? I'd like to contribute something. Why don't you have a Patreon? Don't you get that people would be willing to pay you if you had a Patreon? You do not pay me with money. You pay me with your success. If you really want to contribute something, if you want to actually pay me, what you can do is show me your success. I don't do this because I want to make money. YouTube in total accounts for anywhere from 0.5% to 2% of my business's gross revenue. This is not something that I decided to do because I'm going to make a lot of money off of YouTube. I want to have a regular job and I film it, and I talk about it, and I hope that you learn, whether it's from the business talks, the personal talks, the ethics talks, or the component level board repair stuff. I want you to learn, and I want you to take what you've learned here and apply it to do amazing things in the real world. When I get letters from people who work for hospitals as biomed or biochemical specialists, like the guy that sent me this uh, microphone transmitter that say, every time I fix something using advice from your videos, I save my hospital $100,000. That is the type of payment I accept. That, like, seeing what it is you've done with the content. When I get pictures sent by, let's say, Tony Tone of the shop that he put together when he sent me a board that, well, I kind of wish it was fixable, but it wasn't. But um, he sent uh, the, all these pictures of the shop that he put together and tell me about the things that he repaired using the content from these videos. That I accept as payment, not money. When I hear that somebody who was making $10 an hour uh, busting his ass so that his boss could drive a sports car while he fixes shit all day, left his job, started his own company, moved into a better apartment, got himself a car, and is living a more sustainable life because of what they learned from these videos, that is payment, not money. I don't want to be paid in money from this channel. I want to be paid with your success. Tell me what you've done. Show me what you've done. Show me how you've applied what I've put out there to better the world or better your life in some way. That is what I enjoy. Uh, you know, when I get these comments on like, how this is done for the views, the money, and blah, 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 because you monetize it. I mean, I would still be doing this without the monetization. You know, I may not have a $1,000 camera and microscope set up. I may not have a $2,300 camcorder there. I may not do as many of them, but I'd still be doing it. I have no interest in running a Patreon. I have no interest in running some type of donation system or crowdfunding shit, because ultimately, at the end of the day, this specific part of what I do, the YouTube stuff, is not about making money. If I do things where I ask for your money, it, it has to be something where I'm providing a service or a good. This, again, this is a business, not a charity that I'm trying to run here. I feel like the, like the, the, the Lewis or Lewis Rossman charity. If you want to buy an ISL chip, I'll sell you one. If you want to buy Flux, I will sell you Flux. If you want to uh, sit here for three or five days and have me work with you and teach you board repair, I will sell you that. If you want advice from people on a forum, I will sell you that, and I do charge for that because, again, I'm, I'm paying an engineer that has enough money in his bank account to not work it for the next 10 years and still have a very comfortable lifestyle. I have to pay him something that is worth him spending time answering questions rather than living his own life. But I'll take money for service. I'll take money for goods, but I'm not going to take money for nothing. It's just, it, it's weird. It's not a part of who I am. And further, you have to realize that what I run is a business, is a profitable business. If I were, if I were fixing boards from around the world for everybody who sent them and who watched the content for free, then I would run a Patreon, right? But I don't do that. I charge people two to four hundred dollars. It's a business. If you send me something because you found me off YouTube, I and, and I had this model where I did all this work for free, then it would make sense to have a Patreon. If I were, if I were doing something that was just not profitable, just for the sheer fun or the sheer, I guess, historical or artistic value. If I was trying to restore old art just for the fun of it, then yeah, again, Patreon makes sense. But in this context, again, I run what is a very profitable business. I ask for money for the services that I perform. That is how I get paid. For a business that is profitable to start asking money or asking you know, the right people that they've never provided services for for money, to me, it's just kind of ridiculous. It's, it's, like, it's not something that I'm interested in doing. The hole in the floor really does tie into this because a lot of people will say, well, if you had a Kickstarter or a Patreon, you could get a better office to film your videos. You could have a nicer setup. And wouldn't that, wouldn't that be something that would be great for your users? And again, I'm a business person. I look at return on investment for everything I invest in. Um, this is the back of my store. I am, never, I am never going to get 
customers that I wouldn't otherwise get because the back of my store looks different. I, almost every tech room that I've worked in throughout my entire life that does this type of stuff, you have the fancy front and the fancy whatever, if even that, and then the back room is just a bunch of ripped apart, junkyard looking shit, a table filled with solder, braid, tools everywhere. It's it's, it's they, they 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 just never look pristine. This is not a this is not a fucking studio. This is a repair place. And you have to think about this. Would even if I had this really beautiful nice office that I, you know, I did some type of Kickstarter or a Patreon campaign to get, would that actually change the content at all? Would the fact that I have a video intern or somebody that I I pay just to film stuff really help you understand why a sys clock being pulled down or the RTC clock being pulled down causes quarter fan spin. Would you really understand the difference between VCCIO and VCore better if I were filming in an office that didn't have paint chipped on the wall? I mean, seriously, would that actually improve anything? And further, again, would that improve my own business? You know, I had a choice here with my office. So when I rotated around, the reason I did that is because there was a hole that was developing in the floor. The floor is, is an absolute nightmare. And I paid to have the floor done kind of decently in the front. I had very limited money when I opened the store. I didn't really give two fucks about the back of it very much because I planned on using this for storage. Originally, this was a dump storage room. This was not, I had no uh, intention of turning this into a motherboard repair room. It's just something that kind of happened because I had the space. So when I had that hole in the floor, my chair kept going into it and I kept sinking back and forth because the floor is uneven here. I had three choices. Behind door number one, I could pay a real contractor $6,000 to redo my floor. Behind door number two, I could pay an off-the-book shitty contractor that offers no warranty $1,200 to fix my floor who will demand cash and probably never come back if he fucks everything up. Behind door number three, I could turn my office around so that it's 180 degrees in the other direction, so instead of me sinking into the hole, the opposite end of my desk and a speaker sinks into the hole. Now, which one do you think is more, pr is more practical on a space that I lease and not own? Option three, in the year 2023, my landlord is going to notice that he made a grave mistake in making this place as cheap as he did, and he's going to want twenty dollars to $30,000 for it, and I'm going to leave. And at that point, I'm going to be very, very happy that I did not spend $6,000 fixing a little hole in the floor so just so that I could keep consistency in YouTube videos. And when it comes to stuff like this, I want you to really think about return on investment because I'm a business person when it comes to this before anything else. What is the return on investment of me having a prettier office? What is the return on investment of me having a cooler place to film this stuff? Like, If Dwayne Reed just started saying, like, we are accepting donations so that we can make a better pharmacy, it's like, fuck you, and you want $9 for this tiny little bottle of Listerine. That, that, is, that is your donation already, you know? I mean, again, like, as a business owner, I've explained why it is that if somebody comes in with a bad backlight fuse, that that's three twenty five dollars rather than a no backlight discount. I've explained why it is that I charge money for every service that I do. I charge money for my services with no apologies. Therefore, I don't accept charitable donations. I can't be a profitable business on one end that profits from the services that I do, that profits, well, barely profits, but profits from the YouTube ads, that profits from the classes, that profits from uh, you know, the products that I sell, that then on the other hand decides to turn into a charity because I want to achieve something. If I want to achieve something or I want to move my business to the next level, then it should be based on having sustainable business practices. And when I sit here all day and I talk about sustainable business practices to you and I talk about how it's important to have a business that's profitable, how it's important to not invest in things that are silly, how can I expect you to respect me? How can I expect you to listen to the advice that I give you when I turn around and start asking for money on these platforms on the internet? It doesn't make sense. If I want to do, if, if there is an honest to God, good business reason why I should move to a better office, it's not going to be because it was paid for with some fucking Patreon. It's going to be because my, my business was set up in a way where the profit was directly affected by moving to a better office. Therefore, it made sense to move to a better office. Therefore, I did. In my current business model, it makes absolutely zero sense to change where I film. It takes zero sense to change where I do board repair out of. It may make sense in the future for a different reason, but it doesn't make sense now. So why, again, why, why would I do that? Getting back to the absolute point here, if you want to say thank you, if you want to contribute, if you want to pay me in, in some way, pay me with your success. 
show me what you've done. Show me what you've done for others. Show me what you've put together that works that did not work before. That is how you can pay me. And if you absolutely, positively demand that you take money out of your wallet and give it away, I'm not going to let you give it to me. Let's show you some, uh, some people who actually would deserve that money. So the first place that I would suggest donating to if you absolutely demand to donate money is for, to open broadcast your software. These people develop the software that I use to make these videos and they develop it for free. I used to do these videos before I had the software, but I had a lot of it issues with captures dying. I had a lot of issue with video going out of sync and with the audio. I, and it was also a nightmare because I had to record all the streams and then mix them together in editing. I couldn't just switch back and forth between different cameras. So if you really want to donate, if you think that these videos are great, I've been able to create a lot more video content after I found the software. I'm able to pump out a lot more. It's a lot easier. So if you want to donate money, donate to the Open Broadcaster Software Project. It's not in any way affiliated with me. It's just one of the products that I use to do my job. I've given them about 100 bucks or so already, and I would highly suggest you give more. If you want to give money to something else, I don't know, give to a charity. Give to, let's say, here. You want to you give away money? Like, don't fucking give it away to me here. Like, just Google and find a charity and find somebody who is willing to take your money. And if you really demand that you give with money, Donate to a charity for a disease like this. If you want, again, don't, giving the money to me is a complete, utter fucking waste. Uh, I don't, I haven't earned your money. I don't deserve your money. 